Fight fans, UFC 294 is in the books, and we had ourselves one hell of a co-main event. We had ourselves Hamza Chamayev taking on Kamaru Usman. So guys, let's talk about this fight, shall we? First, before we get into actually the fight, let's talk about Hamza Chamayev. Hamza Chamayev, <clears throat> we all know this guy had a lot of hype around him. He had a lot of hype. And still somewhat continues have, continues to do so. Maybe not as much, but we'll get into that. But he, we remember seeing him in some fights with Willie Jiliang, with um, Gilbert Burns, with Kevin Holland, with a few other um, other guys and upcoming stars back in the earlier days when he was taking on guys prior to COVID. You know, we remember he took on like two guys within like a month of each other or such like that. He actually was a beast in that fight. I mean, the guy literally never went out of the first round almost. He completely just dominated everybody. Knockout punches, domination, submissions, ground and pounds, you name it. He pretty much was a beast. Then he went against Gilbert Burns, who was, you know, a welterweight. And he was a welterweight in his own right as well. He was jumping back and forth between um, the middleweight and the welterweight division. But he went in there and he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gilbert Burns. And it was a war. It wasn't a domination. It was a war. So a lot of people started questioning, like, hmm, maybe the hype isn't quite there, but it was still there. Still there because he still looked good. But it definitely left some questions. Then he went against Kevin Holland. Completely dominated him. But we do remember, that was not supposed to be his first opponent. His first opponent was supposed to be Nate Diaz. And unfortunately, he did not make way for that fight. And we all know what happened there. It became a big old circus. And before you know it, Hamza Chamaya was taking on Kevin Holland. Completely dominated. But again, Kevin Holland. Not necessarily the biggest middleweight. And definitely a very good welterweight but still it's like okay i can see where this is going but this kamar usman is a big big step up for him because we're talking about a former champ we're talking about a former pound for pound king we're talking about one of the best to ever do in welterweight um so this was a very big test for hamza chamayev so this would definitely this fight definitely told us a lot about it and what did it tell us it told us that quite possibly that hype isn't quite real or maybe he's a little overhyped i should definitely say to rephrase what i just said a little overhyped why because in that first round hamza chamayev looked like the beast that we all known and love we've seen him he was just pretty much dominant he completely 10-8 um kamar usman i don't necessarily agree with it because i feel like in that round it wasn't enough damage you know he definitely went for a few submission attempts and he did a few um, taps on the head and whatnot, but it just did not seem to me like a solid 10-8. Definitely a 10-9, 100%, but did not feel like a solid 10-8, but it was a definitely dominant round for Kamara Usman. Oh, excuse me, for Hamza Chamayev. Um, then moving on to rounds two and three, a little bit of a back and forth. Kamara Usman got a little bit of his groove. He started off kind of late, like he had mentioned, but then again, you can't take it away from Hamza. He completely controlled him, completely took his back, went for a few submissions, and pretty much controlled that whole first round. But in the second round, Kamaru Usman was letting loose a little bit. He was landing a few good shots a little bit. And in my opinion, definitely won that round. It was still a little bit back and forth. Could have gone either way. But in my opinion, he did win that round. In the third round, a little bit more of the same. But Hamza Chamai was able to... To take Kamar Usman down. You got to remember Kamar Usman has one of the highest percentage takedown defense rates of all time in the UFC. I think it was like a 94% takedown defense that he has. So that's a lot. And for him, for Kamar, um, Hamza Chamayev to be able to do that to someone like Kamar Usman, um, it definitely says quite a bit. So at the end of the day, the fight went three rounds and Hamza Chamayev got the win. So what do we say about this? And why we're saying maybe Hamza Chamayev is a little overhyped. Why? Because I just mentioned his resume. Majority of these guys were welterweights. A few of them were a little bit middleweights, but definitely nowhere near the top 10 middleweights. Kamar Usman was the middleweight, or excuse me, a wel the welterweight champion of the world. And this was his debut at middleweight in 12 days notice. And... Hamza Chamayev definitely looked like he was struggling in rounds two and three. He looked like he blew out his wad a little bit in round one. 
trying to get um, submissions and doing a little bit of a ground upon himself and such, but definitely did, definitely couldn't get nothing like that, and was a little bit of a struggle city within two rounds two and three. So it really makes me wonder how how he would do against an actual middleweight against how he would how would he have done against someone like Paulo Costa who got to remember I know a lot of people were saying Hamza Chimaya was going to destroy Paulo Costa and you know I I feel like he would have won but we got to remember Paulo Costa has been in there with guys like you all remember who has great wrestling and he's been in there with guys like Israel Adesanya and a few other guys in the middleweight division that Hamza Chimaev has not went against. You know, all these guys that Hamza Chimaev went against just so happened to be welterweights, in a sense, in the middleweight division outside of um, Gilbert Burns. And again, that Gilbert Burns fight, it was back and forth. It wasn't a one-sided fight. Just like the Kamar Usman fight, it wasn't a one-sided fight. He went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, a back-and-forth war with two welterweights. It really makes me wonder how he's going to really do in this middleweight division. So with that being said, again, we can't take it away. A fight's a fight, and a win's a win, and that's what Hamza Chamayev did. He won. Moving on, this fight was supposed to be for the number one contendership for the middleweight championship of the world, and Hamza Chamayev just got that. He's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sean Strickland. Again, has not won against any middleweights or any in the top 10 middleweights of all time. Anybody. Paulo Costa, Robert Whitaker, DDP, Marvin Vittori, Jared Cannonier, anybody. And he's going to take on the champion of the world. And guys, here's something that a lot of people are not even saying. That I even, I, I have not heard at least. He has not went five rounds. He has struggled with three. In that Gilbert Burns fight, I feel like if those went another two rounds, we could be looking and talking about a different Hamza Chimaya. In this Kamaru Usman fight, Kamaru had mentioned that they had asked him, do you want three or five? He said he made a mistake. This would, this should have been five rounds. If this went five, two more rounds with Kamaru Usman, who knows what we would be talking about. We could pot potentially be talking about a rematch between Kamaru Usman and Sean Strickland. Hamza Chimaev has not went in there with a top 10 middleweight. Hamza Chimaev has not went in there with a top 10 middleweight and has not done five rounds. And now he is going to go in there with the middleweight champion of the world. How I see that fight going right now, I see if Hamza Chimaev cannot get this done in the first two rounds, quite possibly three, it's going to be a very long night for him. I feel like he has struggled with the cardio just a little bit. It was really easy for him in the beginning because he was able to steamroll everybody and he didn't need to go to round two or three or even four or five because he was defeating everybody in round one. But when Gilbert Burns met him and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, it showed a lot. And now with Kamar Usman, only on 12 days notice, it showed a lot as well. So it really makes me, <clears throat> excuse me, it really makes me wonder how this fight, um, how Kamar, uh, excuse me, Hamza Chimaev is actually going to do in this fight without prepping, without actually having a middleweight fight for five rounds. Or excuse me, fighting a middleweight fighter for five rounds. It's, it's definitely going to be very interesting. Fun, because Sean Strickland, we know this guy can sell a pay-per-view. And we know Hamza Chimaev isn't afraid to speak his mind either. So I can definitely see this being a big seller for sure. 100%. But, quite possibly, I always felt like maybe it was just a little bit overhyped. Um, Hamza Chimaev, I definitely enjoy him. I definitely think he's a really good fighter. And I think one day he could possibly be a champion. But I felt like when we see fighters who just dominate earlier in their career and just completely look like monsters and beasts and just completely steamrolling everybody in the first round or second or third and such, it's still a little too early too soon to say that. To see like these guys are going to be the next big thing. You know. Who you remember seeing that with Connor? How he was able to do that to. You know. Um, Dana Silver or whatever his name was. Excuse me. And then the early days of Max Holloway. And then what he was able to do to Dustin Poirier. And. Um, and what he did with Jose Aldo. You know. Like yeah. 
Now he actually proved his point. Where Hamza Chamaev, it feels like he has not necessarily done that just yet. So it makes me wonder, guys. It makes me wonder. But we know that this fight's gonna take place. Hamza Chamaev versus Sean Strickland. Do we know when? Not sure because Hamza Chamaev actually said he broke his hand or thinks he broke his hand in the first round. I still don't feel like that would have done anything. I still don't feel like break, broken hands have anything to do with cardio. But at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. It all remains to be seen. What's going to happen next for Hamza Chamaev and Sean Strickland and when that's going to take place. Kamar Usman, I feel like he didn't lose anything. You know, he's still one of the best welterweights of all time. Top five or top four, Mount Rushmore of welterweights of all time for sure. Um, I feel like he is still one win, one win away to win a welterweight championship of the world or to, uh, go after the welterweight championship of the world. We know that fight's going to take place. Leon Edwards, Kobe Covington, December 16th. Um, I know Kamaru's definitely going to be looking close at that fight because if Leon Edwards loses, you got Kobe Covington, who just so happens to have two losses to Kamaru Usman. So guys, there's quite possibly, potentially, a third fight looming with Kamaru Usman and Kobe. You never know. But again, I feel like Kamaru Usman is just one fight, one win away from actually going after a welterweight championship of the world. Quite possibly. You never know, guys. So guys, let me know what you thought of the fight. Let me know what you're going to think is going to be next for Hamza Chemaev. And let me know what you think is going to be next for Kamar Usman. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.